Welcome back, everybody. Time to dive into some more of Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought's Alpha 6. We're going to take a look at some of the new Naval Academy missions today. Uh, and we're going to start right here at the beginning, Modern versus Old Destroyers. So the objective here is to design modern destroyers and combat uh, versus numerous less advanced rivals. Uh, so we have the option to advance or to optimize firepower, maneuverability, and survivability, or balanced techs. Uh, I think we're going to probably go with optimizing firepower for this one. Enemy fleet has nine destroyers, and we need to sink at least 55%, so five of them. Uh, keep alive 55% of allies. Seems simple enough. We've got a budget uh, that's going to allow not for too many destroyers, so we're going to have to be really careful here. Okay, so let's keep our speed somewhat. We're going we're gonna to go for max protection based on what we have. Um, I don't even know what country we are. looks like we're British. I think we'll drop the speed a little bit. I'm going to probably just go for one destroyer and try to keep it alive no matter what. All right, so let's get the best of everything that we can here. Corrupt three armor. Reinforce these bulkheads. Get the anti-flood maxed out. Oh, we're already pretty much at our weight limit, so that's no good at all. We're going to have to make some hard decisions here. I guess we got to start with what we're putting on this thing, and then we'll worry about some of that other stuff. I want the best accuracy we can get. Uh, forget torpedoes, because uh, going up against other destroyers, I'm, just, I'm sure that they're going to just get away from any torpedoes that I fire. So we have to have at least one. Torpedo, so I mean, it's not like I can get around that. But we'll throw one torpedo tube on here and then none, no, no other tubes. That's just it. Okay. Okay, so playing around with this a little bit, I've actually decided to switch up some of my earlier decisions, and it's actually given me two destroyers. Uh, we're just under on weight. I decided to sacrifice speed. Speed, by dropping it by about five knots, has given me a ton of flexibility, it allowed me to max out my bulkheads. It's allowed me to um, go with the best range finder, the best acoustic, so I can keep an eye on those pesky torpedoes when they come my way. Uh, I don't think I need radar. Um, going to go with the Lidite 2 shells because they give me the best HE fire chance because we're going to count on getting some flash fires to make this happen. We've actually got a little bit of weight available for armor. Obviously, we don't have a lot of armor on these things anyway, but let's go ahead and give this a try, and then we might have to do some tweaking. We'll see. But we've got a total of, let's see, 12 5-inch guns. I feel like that can get me a lot, so let's see what happens. Okay, so we've got we've got to take out five of these nine destroyers, and we can't lose either of ours. Now, obviously, in a campaign, I'd never build a destroyer that didn't have any torpedo, uh, the ability to fire multiple torpedoes, because that wouldn't really allow for the flexibility with destroyers to take on larger ships. But for this particular mission, we're only trying to sink other destroyers. So we've built a destroyer that's specific to that task. Well then, we didn't even spot these things until they came inside of about... What was that? It was about three and a half kilometers away before we even spotted these destroyers. That was crazy. Lots of torpedoes already coming my way. And it's interesting how he's fired these things. It's, it's making it pretty interesting to try and dodge. Because we've got com some coming this way, some coming this way.
that would be the, the nice thing about having only one would be it would be a lot easier to maneuver around these things because if I'm paying attention to one and the other one gets hit the battle's still over we're already well on our way to taking down the first one in fact I think we got him flash fires did the did the job there he's got a, another big spread of torpedoes coming looks like we just had an explosion there Alright, I gotta watch the Cuervo because I'm a little worried about that. Okay, they're okay. In fact, part of me wants to separate these two and put the other one on AI control. But I feel like these 5 inch guns are doing the job. As long as we can avoid torpedoes long enough. Only thing I'm nervous about is getting this close means I might not have a lot of time to dodge his torpedoes, like these ones right here. I think I'm going to separate the two and put the Cuervo on AI. Let him dodge torpedoes on his own. Alright, let's take this guy out because he's right there. to turn the turrets around. Just a whole lot of smoke everywhere. All these destroyers. Taking some damage, we don't have quite the full speed we had before. Just keeping an eye out for torpedoes. Oh, dang. Speaking of taking, keeping an eye out for torpedoes, I didn't see that one. Oh, uh, that hurt. We're about to have our second one taken out. Not really a lot of time to look at the enemy ships right now. Because we got to constantly worry about torpedoes. Another one or two could finish me. I heard an explosion. That would be there. 
Look at those flash fires. Oh, I love that animation. Wasn't enough to finish them, though. We're getting slow, and that concerns me. Oh, jeez. Speaking of being slow and being concerned about it. That one's going to hit me. Darn it. Oh, boy. Oh, dang. Ammo detonation. Speaking of flash fires, I just was on the receiving end of one. Oh, boy. I think we're in trouble. Yep, that's it. All right, we're going to try something different this time. We're going to go with four destroyers, but they're smaller. Uh, so it's going to require me a little bit better at managing. I, what I'm going to try to do is not go right down the middle of all of them. Obviously, that's a huge mistake. Uh, we don't want to allow ourselves to get in that situation, so we want to stay a little further away from them. Uh, but this should get me more firepower. We've only got now 12 guns instead of 16 on each one. But instead of only having 32 total, uh, we've now got a total of, well, no, we don't have uh, 12. We have nine instead of 12. Uh, so before we had 24 guns, this time we've got 36. So we've got more guns firing. A little smaller. But if I manage them better, instead of allowing him to have two lines that put me right in the middle, having to dodge torpedoes everywhere, we should be okay. This time we can afford to lose one. Let's get them all attached in one line. All right, here they are. We're immediately gonna gonna turn this way. Oh man, we've already got a nice big hit on the first one. Flash fire right off the bat. You can see one of his turrets exploding. Let's slow down a little bit. Okay, here come the torpedoes, I think. Now this will get a, a little rough because it's going to cause my, my turrets to have to turn around to the other side. But by the time I turn, the turret should also turn. So I think we'll be okay. Looks like they're turning pretty much with me. Oh, took a hit there. Ouch. My lead ship hasn't landed a hit, but they've taken eight already. My goodness. And now, of course, he's no longer the lead ship. Wow, seriously, Fletcher? You haven't even turned your rear guns? Scanyo's just having all kinds of trouble right now. Wow. 
Wow. Damage has been brutal this time around. Ew. That's bad. Can't really see it, but we know it's bad in there. Wow. Well, it looks cool, but it's bad for me. My goodness, that one's... So, as some people have pointed out, I think we're going to have to replay this one again, the flash fires are happening a lot. I don't think it'll be that way in the final game. I think that's more... They're trying to test it. They want to make it happen as often as possible just to make sure that the mechanics of it work. I would imagine at some point they're going to scale that back a little bit because they seem to happen almost every time. Okay, we're going back to the destroyer leaders. This time, lots of firepower. We're just going to slow it down a little bit. Uh, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five. So 15, total of 30 uh, turrets. But we're also going to try out the super heavy shells because uh, those are going to give me even more of a fire chance. So I don't know if that'll work or not. But we've got to find a way to keep these guys at a distance, which obviously is going to be tough to do because I'm slow. Okay, here we go. Smoke spotted to the south, so they're over this way. Uh, the thing is, they're probably coming at me, so instead of turning toward them, I'm just going to kind of go about my merry way, let them come at me so that I don't have to try to react when they get within three kilometers or so. The terror in the skate this time. I didn't change the name. Skate's the default that it's been given me. going to watch for them. They're over this way somewhere. Okay, here they come. We've already got our torpedoes in the water. This time I actually went with a, a five torpedo uh, tubes on this one, so we're actually going to get some torpedoes in the water of our own. I don't have a lot of them. In fact, you can see I only get a couple of spreads off, but that's better than really having nothing. It'll cause him to react a little bit. All right, he's got his first torpedoes in the water. get an idea of where they're headed okay he's got a few more there too so let's go ahead and turn obviously this is going to hurt my turrets temporarily Make sure we should already be firing HE, but I want to make sure that we are. It looks like we are. Nice. Most of the rest of them are off in a distance. I'm going to go ahead and head straight for now. It gives me more flexibility in reacting when I see other torpedoes coming in. Although it certainly reduces my ability to fire on him. Oh, skate. What happened to skate? What'd they get hit by? Jeez. Bunch of four inch hits on them already. Oh yeah, there we go. 
ammo detonation. That'll do him in. Where are these torpedoes headed? They're right there. So we should be well out of range heading this direction. Of course, we can't see any of the other ships. Here comes one. Beautiful first hit. I think we're safe from torpedoes. There, we got another one. That's two. We need three more. There's a third one here. I feel like I should probably turn soon. I'm a little worried about torpedoes. I've been going in the same direction for quite a while. Oh, Terra's going to drop behind now. Actually, I have pretty good timing on that. Alright, so far so good. We're keeping them at a nice distance. We're keeping them all in one line. Terror's going to make me a little nervous here by jumping in behind me because I don't know what that's going to mean with these torpedoes. Oh, it sounds like it just started storming outside again. We've got two right next to each other here. Just trying to get an eye out for any torpedoes in the water. Alright, Terror, I don't know what you're doing here, buddy. Both focus on the same ship. Oh, what? Now Terror's in the lead again? Oh, make up your mind. The other ones are way off in the distance. So what will have to happen is once we sink these two, we're going to have to go hunting for one more. Skate is literally going in the other direction. What is the deal there? All right, we're going to try to s squeeze right in between all these torpedoes. Oh, boy. Who took the ammo detonation? Terror? I didn't even see the hit. Now we got a flash fire on the skate. Yeah, 
And this ship that I will not even attempt to pronounce is coming straight at us. Oh, this is bad. These flash fires will be the death of me. I guess you live by them and you die by them. No, he's not going to be ready to fire torpedoes for a few minutes, so hopefully that buys us some time to take him out. Although this one's not going down as quickly as I thought either. Darn it. And wait. I just checked his torpedoes. Alright, I need to pause here because... How do I pause? I forget how to pause. There we go. Obviously there's no way to maneuver this guy separately without detaching him. Not entirely sure he can maneuver anyway. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, we're good. We might get our own torpedo hit here. I'm not entirely sure he's going to be able to avoid all of those. But then again, he might. In fact, I think he is going to. Ah. Oh. But they might hit the guy behind him. Yep, they're going to finish him off. That works. All right, there's three. We gotta get two more before we lose one. Oh no, flash fire on the terror. Not sure she's gonna recover from that. Put the fires out, put them out. Yikes. Now we're taking a bunch of hits. Oh, now they're done. There's no way that Terror survives another flash flood, flash fire. I guess that's the problem with that having that many guns on the ship. It's a lot of ammo to explode. I got, you know, what, 4,000 rounds on each one of these things? Come on, finish this guy off and give him a fighting chance here. One or two more hits will take him out. Oh, he's getting a handle on the flooding. I think those are some of his own torpedoes heading toward his sh ship over there. Oh man, he 
The pumps are working for him now. We were so close to finishing him off. Oh no, ammo detonation on a skate. Oh no, I didn't even see that torpedo coming at the terror. This is a challenging mission. I like that. And honestly, I haven't done enough with destroyers to be good with them yet. But I guess that's kind of the point of this update. Destroyers become a priority. They give you some missions with the destroyers to kind of force you to start using them more and to... Uh, to learn, learn them a little better. Oh, skate, what are you doing? We're literally putting both ships right into the path of these torpedoes. That's going to be the end of me. Skate's going to take two, and that's it. So I think this mission's winnable with the builds I have. I just have to play it right a little better. But we'll wrap it up right there. We won't sit through another one. But I would love to hear your thoughts. What would you have done differently? How would you have built the ships differently? I'm thinking maybe more of a mix of torpedoes and guns is going to have to be the way to go. Because uh, it's obvious that we just can't cause enough damage with the guns fast enough to sink these ships. So uh, use your comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. We'll come back with another mission, and eventually we'll go back and revisit that one.